friends kitty and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if so you can subscribe down below and while you're at it hit those notifications because i post videos every single week right now i'm trying to upload mondays wednesdays and fridays so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video but anyways today's video is going to be the youtube rewind tag this is created by samantha march i always love watching her videos so link her video from this year down below and i've been doing these i think for two years I think and this is actually the first video I'm filming for 2020 so I hope you're having a great new year so far new start to the new decade it's like a new chapter to another part in a book like that's how I'm looking this year at like that's how I'm feeling and yeah I'm really excited to be doing this I also did my year in review on my blog so I'll link that down below but yeah this is my first video of filming of 2020 but I've obviously had other uploads go up so yeah, happy to be doing this in this nice fine Friday. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I know my intros get way too long. I'm trying to work on that. Okay, so I have the questions literally on my laptop right below. So if I look down, that is why. So there's about nine questions by the way. So yeah, let's go on to number one. What was just, what was the first video you posted in 2019? My first video in 2019, I remember this always because this is always what I like to post on the first of the year. And that is my best of beauty 2019. I always love posting on the first of the year, especially posting my best of beauty. I feel like it's a perfect time to share all my favorite and everything and that's just my beauty favorites and stuff so yeah that was what I posted on the first of the year super fun a great to start off the year with a bunch of favorites talking about my loves for the year and it's always my favorite thing to do like I said it's just I don't know I love sharing beauty favorites it's just like the best thing ever I don't know it just is like it's amazing just talk about your favorites reminisce you know feel that vibe I don't know so number two says do you have a favorite video Video you posted in 2019. Honestly, like I love a lot of my videos and I know I always say that, but I honestly do. But I think if I had to pick like top favorite, of course, any get the looks I did this year, I really like. I actually really like the outfits video that I did a couple months ago. I know a lot of people said they loved that video. I really like doing those. Those are definitely videos I will continue to do throughout this year and everything. Every once in a while, I'll do like an outfit of the week. I also really liked my Embrace Your Beautiful series which I created last year and I'm bringing it back this year. I haven't filmed for it in a while but I really want to bring it back and I have a lot more ideas for it but I kind of just started doing new things this year like and kind of branching out. I really like my ranking series that I did that was inspired by Kelly Gooch. I just really like doing those kinds of videos. Yeah there's never like one video I can pinpoint but those are like just to name a few some of my favorites. Number three, do you have a video that made you go outside your comfort zone. Definitely. I feel like my Brace Your Beautiful was very going out of my outside my comfort zone and stuff just because it's like I'm talking about things that I'm uncomfortable like ish about like things that like my flaws and stuff like that and yes I've done like a skin like confidence video. I've done body positivity body confidence videos and stuff but I feel like this time it was different because like my own thing it's my own series it's me creating something so I feel like that was was very outside my comfort zone this year and it was very like different for me I mean it might not seem like too extreme but I feel like that was really something for me number four says what video did you post on your birthday or close to so I didn't post on my birthday this year because it was on a Saturday I believe or because it was on a Sunday but I posted a couple videos close to it which were my ranking perfume collection video which that I believe went up on the Friday before my birthday and that was a very well perceived video so I appreciated that especially close to my birthday I really loved that and then I also did a birthday get it ready man I believe I did it on the 24th maybe it was the 23rd I can't remember which would have been one or two days after my birthday because my birthday is September 22nd and yeah those are the videos closest to my birthday Birthday, but I always love posting on my birthday but this year it didn't happen just with my upload schedule and the days where I would upload 
you know. Number five says, did you find a new channel or creator in 2019 that you love? I actually found a lot of different creators, which is really awesome. I found a lot of different, like even Instagram accounts that I found them, found their videos through, which is awesome. I always love finding new people. I'm always looking for new people to watch. I found Fathering Autism this year, which is like not beauty related, but I watch like all kinds of content I make and stuff. I really like their channel. It's been basically about a family who has a daughter with autism and they kind of like you know they're really good at educating people on it and I feel like I was very educated with them because the daughter is non-verbal you should definitely check out the channel I will leave everyone I'm, I'm mentioning and just things I'm mentioning down below I also discovered Sydney which I mentioned her in one of my last videos and stuff I really like her channel she's just so inspirational when it comes to like makeup like she just these awesome looks and I'm just like, I love like that. Like that inspires me to do so much with my makeup, even though I did the most basic look today, but that's okay, we're panning. I also found like a lot of different project panners. I don't know why I didn't make a list because I have so many. What is wrong with me? But I found like a lot of different like beauty vloggers and, and like non-beauty vloggers. Number six says, did you find any new brands in 2019 that you love? It's interesting. I feel like I have, like, so I found, I didn't really find this brand this year, but I used more of the products this year and that's Vicious Precision's formula. I really love their foundation, which if you watched my favorites video, you would know that. If not, check it out in the cards and hear me talk about all the favorites. And then I also, I don't know, I don't, I basically tried more Precision's formula this year. I tried, what else did I try this year? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't really try too many brands. Catrice, I feel like I tried more of this stuff this year. Branched out more of ColourPop this year. I feel like a little bit. I don't know. I don't have like major brands that I really tried. I tried the skincare brand that I'm brand ambassador for before it became brand ambassador. So that's fun. But yeah, I feel like I don't have like major brands that I fall in love with. I've basically been using most of the same brands, but in 2020, I definitely want to branch out more and use more different brands, if you know what I mean. So number seven says, what is your favorite YouTube memory from 2019? I love this question. My favorite memory would definitely have to be just creating lots of different content. Honestly, I'm always loving everything. Also, I really loved hitting 300 subscribers. I believe I hit that in the beginning 2019, I believe, and then I hit like midway-ish, I feel like I hit 400 subscribers. My growth, seeing my growth is always something that I love and it's always my favorite memory when it comes to YouTube because when I made videos, I never expected to have even a couple hundred subscribers. So to have like 400 plus now is super cool. And I know it might not seem, seem like a big number to a lot of people, but honestly, I just like seeing my growth. That is like, favorite memory. I also love like when I make like my different series and seeing like YouTubers I make the series on like like my videos or like comment on them. I think that's really cool. I don't know if that happened all that much in 2019. It might have happened more in 2018 but I love that. I don't know just the whole journey of creating and uploading content and just interacting. Honestly the simplest things are the things that make me happy and I definitely am ex excited for more more journeys and more more like excitement in 2020 with my with my YouTube. I'm really excited for that. So number eight says, how many videos did you post in 2019? This is always fun counting this up because I'm just like, oh my god. But I posted 124 videos this year, which I don't know from comparison from last year to this year if that is more or less. But I feel like that's pretty good for a full-time student, a girl that had part-time work over the summer. And and just a busy, a somewhat busy overall girl. I feel like that's pretty good. And then I post 30-ish vlogs, which, you know, I don't vlog all the time. So I feel like that's pretty good again for a full-time student. Hopefully in 2020 I can post more because I won't be a full-time student in the fall semester. So that's exciting. Maybe I can post more. I mean, I'll have like a full-time job probably. And, but YouTube will always be there for me. And I can't wait to see how much content and like what I create this year. So number nine says, what made you proud of, of 
what you consider an accomplishment. I feel like I'm always proud of what I do, especially with the content I put out. I'm always like careful about what I put out online. Like I always want to put out content I'm proud of. I'm really proud of even off of YouTube, like starting a blog and getting that inspiration to do that because I do love writing and writing has always been something that has been there for me for. So I feel like just doing that was just like a big accomplishment for me. Also just you know, hitting 400 subscribers, 300 subscribers, just continuing to grow throughout the year. I feel like that is like something I'm proud of. And I'm also just proud of like, you know, videos doing well and just, I'm proud of my overall progress. I'm over, I'm proud of my growth. I'm proud of just, I made my own intro, which that's impressive. I, I'm happy about that. I don't have any like huge accomplishments. It's mainly just my growth on YouTube and I can't wait to see that grow more in 2020. I would love to hit 500 subscribers this year and I think it's very possible and I know I can do it. I feel like I didn't hit anything major, but you know, a little bit of growth is like the biggest accomplishment. Like there's nothing that like outweighs any. I don't know how to say this, but there is no growth that is too small. Any growth is good growth. So I'm proud of everything I do. I'm proud of the content I create. I'm proud of just even doing my 12 days of Christmas. This is the second year, second year doing of it. And yes, it was a lot of work, but it was so worth it. It was so much fun for me. And even if one video didn't do like super well, I still loved doing it because I was creating stuff for the 12 days that I really wanted to create. And I'm definitely excited for more ventures like that in 2020, this year. Wow, I keep saying 2020, but that is this year. We're literally in 2020, Katie. But yeah, that's it for the questions and everything. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube rewind tag. If you're a YouTuber, you should definitely do this. I would love to see it. It. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And let me know what you want to see next from me this year down below. I'd love to hear about that. And subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the notification bell while you're down there so you don't miss an upload. Can't have that. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Monday for a brand new video. Super excited to continue my New Year's, you know, uploads from favorites to onward. You know, that, that, that stuff. Bye.